Alright, welcome back to more Until Dawn. In the last episode, Josh and Jessica bit the dust. So, that happened, if you forgot. In this one, we're gonna hope that we're not gonna get anyone else killed. It. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have oh fun. crap, Sam's by herself. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Number five, Dread. Six hours till dawn. That's not good. No, none of this is good, Mike. I knew we'd be at the sanatorium, because why not? Doing, you weirdo. Right. Are you gonna try to shoot him? Okay, let's just put you stupid idiot. Why are you not running the other way, trying to find the others and calling the cops? Instead of like, oh no, I'm gonna just you know explore this place on my own. God damn it, Mike. I don't want to do this. Also, there are dogs. Which is great. I think we can just kind of cross Mike off the list now. Because I highly doubt that I'm going to be able to save him. So many birds. Aww. I hear some bad doggies in there. You are going to get yourself killed, and it is not my fault. I wanted to go the other way, man. What do you think you're gonna do? You don't even have a shirt on. You an undershirt on. Think you're gonna take him down? Really? And now he knows you're there because you just tried the doorknob. Oh, you're dumb. I have a lot of rage right now. Also, I love how the police were like, oh, we checked the sanatorium. There's nothing there. My ass, you checked the sanatorium. Liars. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Can't miss the clues. Look at that. Blackwood Pine Sanatorium, open 1922. Men's sauna in corpore sauna. What does that mean? That's not even a clue? Seriously? You're gonna do this to me, game? I can't find the actual clues, but I can find stuff that's not a clue and not helpful at all. I don't... Alright, what do we got? 
A newt. Oh, no. That's weird. I just forced them all out. Oh, I need to hold it. Date, January 4th, 1952. The sanatorium staff. Rescue of minors. Be advised that the minor rescue is due to be completed tomorrow, 5th of January. As the number of surviving minors is unknown, prepare all beds in Ward A. The press shall be in attendance tomorrow. We must be seen to be giving the minors the best possible care. Note that press visitors are not to be allowed into the psychiatric ward. Failure in this regard would reflect badly upon Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole and shall result in on-spot dismissal. You'll need a nose peg. Those guys smell awful. Um, I'm betting what happened is in the 50s, they went into the mines and, like, released some kind of malevolent spirit or something. And that's what's going on. That's, that's my guess so far. We don't have a lot of clues from 1952, but, like, there was that danger map. So it seems like a lot of them died or were in a really shitty situation in the mine. Oh, this door's open. Great. It's fun stuff. Wait, did we go outside? I'm not sure if that was the right thing to do or not. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if there's anything out there. Get down the stairs! Jeez. The stairs are like the greatest enemy of everyone in this game. Also, apparently to save Jessica, you had to take all the fast routes to get to her. But it was like, you know what? What if Mike would have died if I did that? So excuse me for trying to be safe. You know? Well, this isn't creepy or anything. Oh, do I have to go in the graveyard? Can we not? Can we just not do that? Oh no, we get a nice little totem. That was Matt, because that was in his, he was in his letter jacket. Fortune totems are the- are good fortune. That was good fortune. Something about a door? It sounded like there was like a dog or something in there and... I don't know. Um, I guess he didn't die, so that's good. I wonder if that's the only thing that's out here. Probably. Probably. This lantern is not giving off a lot of light. Come on, man. Walk. Right, so I guess we gotta go the other way. I really don't know why you're in here. You're just playing with death right now, sir. Oh. There's some over here. Do I really have to go? Yep, I have to go down the steps and up the other steps. My favorite thing in this game, steps. Fine. What is this? Condemned. Awesome. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? You chose to come up here. It is deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy the structure. And that was since, like, the 50s. Oh, I can go down. Uh, right, go back up. Go back up the stairs. Oh, the stairs. Wait, do I have to go? <sighs> I really don't want to do this. This just is... Um. It's just not a good idea. 
I really don't think it's a good idea at all. So now we're in this creepy place and probably can't get out. And he's gonna come in and make me pee myself. Pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Dude, how do I... How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Shining at me. Is there a way around, maybe? Anything else going on? Oh, those rats, which is great. Oh, in here? Okay. Push this. Alright, so we can climb up there, but let's see what's over here. Great, more tiki's. This is probably gonna be a death one. Oh no. Ew! Loss of a friend. Who was that? Was it Matt? Something jumped down and like... What did it even do? It looks like Matt. Cause of the Letterman jacket. Maybe that's like... I found the good fortune then I found that one. So like depending on what happens. I wonder what's gonna happen if I... Get them all killed. Let's make some noise so he knows you're here. jump through the window or something. What is this? Oh. Just a way to get up here. Do I want to be up here? Oh, that's different. switch to someone else now cuz not not really too fond of this okay that door's open What's this? did I just go in a circle I think I did I did go in a circle I basically just came back up the way that <sighs> all right well Guess I'm supposed to go this way then. Anything else over here? What up the lantern do? Safe. Oh, someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Watch there be another Wolverine in there or something. It's 
that money? Clocking. Oh, clocking in cards. A batch of 30 clocking in cards from the mine locked away in a safe. This means there were 30 miners trapped in the mine. Okay. That's ominous. Does that mean there's like 30 pissed off spirits? Something over here. Camera. Broken camera. The lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Well. Great. Did anybody else hear that laughter? Because I swore I heard some good hearty laughter just now. I don't want to go in there. I really don't want to go in there. But I don't have a choice. The morgue. Yeah, that's probably where I gotta go. <laughs> Great. Dude, there's so many, like, places to go. I don't even know. Alberta Post, January 9th, 1952. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines. A reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on the sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. So that was his camera. That's been here a long ass time. Something fishy's going on about that whole mining thing. Three weeks though. I must have been starving. I would be. I'm starving after like three hours. Yep, going to the morgue. See, morgue this way. What if the key card is like on a dead body? That would probably happen. There's a clue over here. There's a rat over there. Minor medical report. The report follows RE, the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cogent? Is that what that word is? Cogent. And relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Yeah, where they ate each other. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Well, no shit. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off a wing of the sanatorium. Probably where we're gonna go, right? Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of streptomycin? <laughs> I don't know. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. 
one of those guys actually tried to bite me, I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Maybe they are zombies. Or rabbit or something. Maybe they're like clicker zombies from like The Last of Us. That'd be super fun, right? No. It would not be fun at all. At least I'm getting these clues. Okay. Uh, da, da. Still heading to the morgue. Just fancying a trip to the morgue. Oh, fuck. Oh, Mike, you stupid, stupid person. I hear dogs. Probably have to, like, distract him with something. Like, my arm. Just, like, chops off the arm and throws it. There's a clue over here. <laughs> oh, I didn't... Oh, shit. I didn't oh. necessarily... That was the weapon that he had at the beginning of the game, which now has blood on it. Yes, take it with you. Good man. Although you might just slice your buttocks if you do that. See, I never know which way I'm supposed to go because I want to make sure that I'm getting clues. So I don't necessarily want to just, like, go the correct way, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to see what was over there, but I guess I can't do that now, which is stupid. Ugh. Oh no. I don't... This is going to require me to pull back that curtain. And I don't want to do that. Oh, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Ew. Clue found restraining chair. Well, there's blood on a chair. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as a part of a weird experiment. What the hell? Is that all that's in here? Guess. Guess we'll just go back into this lovely room. How is he not freezing, by the way? I mean... <laughs> Maybe he doesn't feel it anymore because... It's just... There are other more important things than being warm. Like, not dying? I'll just take a walk over here. Just, uh, have a spot of tea. What's this? Oh, this is... How many... What could... Uh, who? <sighs> How many days will they keep us here? Maybe that was the miners. And they were doing some creepy... How was that not a clue? doing some kind of experiment on them. <sighs> oh, Mike. You probably only have minutes. Oh, that looks like a comfortable bed. The accommodations for the crazy, let me tell you. 
They were just outstanding. Oh, there's something over here. Hey. Didn't it? Sometimes I can't tell if it's a reflection or if it's an actual thing. It looks like there's something in the window. Maybe that's just a reflection. But there was a dog over there, so I'm gonna go over here and hopefully not get eaten by a dog. But, you know, that might still happen. Alright, what do we got here? Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Western Province Telecommunications Company Telegram. Dr. Richard Castle, Blackwood Sanatorium, to Mr. J. Bragg. Incident update. Twelve survivors received a sanatorium showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood becoming a problem. Please advise further. Hmm. I think it's kind of interesting how he shifts the lantern to his other hand. Because he's right-handed and that's what he used to pick up the thing. That's, eh, that's a little things. Little details. Okay, well we don't have a choice anymore. We kind of have to go this way. So, um... That's fun. Definitely looking forward to that. Oh boy. Oh, hi! How are you? Are you real? That's a nice shadow you cast. That's kind of weird though that his arm- arms aren't- like his hands aren't in the shadow. Like, and he's- his one arm isn't in the shadow either. Can I grab a bone from him and then possibly throw it to the dog? Because I feel like that might help. No, well, of course not. The dogs would rather chew on my legs. One's gonna jump at me. I'm just waiting for it. That almost makes it worse. It's like I know it's eventually gonna happen. But when? So what's in here? Go away. Oh, that's where that- I can look and see that chair again. Is there really nothing else in here? Except for, like, me to look at the chair. From this angle. Ah, <sighs> Fine. I will continue on into this super fun- <sighs> What is that? Excuse me? What? That seems animatronic. That doesn't seem real. It's gonna grab me, though. Ten bucks says. Can I stab it? That's the real question. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? What do you- <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, I just got him killed. I just got him killed. I thought it was a clue. Cut You're gonna have to cut him off, man. You're gonna have to do it. The quick time cut fingers, Ethan Mars style. Let's do this. G open. Can I open the bear trap with the knife? Do you think that's possible? Just do it. Should I have done this? I don't know. What if I oh, bleed shit. out? I don't. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh god. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Oh shit. She probably. Oh. <laughs> What if the blood smell attracts them, though? Shit. I don't know if I should have done that. You can handle this. You- You're awesome. You can do this, man. Grab the- Yep, good job. Good job, man. You're- You're good. See, I'm afraid that if I would have tried to do the- The trap, then, like, I would have gotten stuck and the dog would have come and eaten oh. me or something. Maybe I can use my fingers as bait. Let him go. I don't know what the fuck to go. Okay. Me too, man. 
I am so sorry about your fingers. They were like the last two, right? They're not necessary. I mean... You can... You can get through life without them, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. No clues over here then, I guess. Hi, friend. A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. <laughs> okay, look at him, he's like, nah. It's really small. Do doesn't seem like it's small for a skull. It's a shrunken head. <laughs> I was waiting for it to jump at me or something. Because that's my life. Well, there's a door here. I don't know what to do. Oh, I can open them. They're they're dead. Oh, that's where they put the dead people. Is this necessary? Alright. I hate the like you can't even close your eyes because you have to actually like do stuff. Oh maybe the Here we go! I'm gonna get more of my fingers off. Emergency medical tag, Nicholas Bowen. February 24th, 1952. Attacked by inmate. Fatal lacerations to the throat? It sounds like they're rabid. But what about the spirits? Oh, gosh. I don't... Ghost zombies. Uh... Well, we'll find out if one of them, you know, if there's a body and it comes alive, we'll know. Okay, name of deceased, Sarah Smith, uh, February 24th. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952, and last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to extreme causes, violence, fill in... Also the following, accident, suicide, or homicide. It was homicide. Manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails? Additional note, please use the box provided overleaf for any additional relevant information. Signed by N. Bowen, MD. Oh, he got killed. That was the other guy who got killed, Nicholas Bowen. So the doctor got killed too. Shortly after he treated her, unless he was treating her or something, and then she killed him? Additional notes. Body was not discovered until 68 hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Yeah, it, it, it seems like there's some zombie shit going on. One of these is gonna have something in it, and I don't... Okay. Here, it's gonna come alive, and I'm gonna have to stab it. Get ready. Cut its head off, cut its head off, just do- Why are the eyes still- Oh! oh! Stab- just fucking- no! I don't- What am I supposed to do? R2? It's gonna grab me, it's gonna grab me, it's gonna grab me, it's gonna grab me. What is that? Okay, let's check this out. Oh, that's the card I had to get. I don't want to leave it. No, you always cut the head off. Have you learned nothing from zombie movies <laughs> or zombie lore? You always cut the head off. I used to think that, like, when I was a little kid, I used to think that when you died, your eyeballs just turned into eye sock. Like, they disappeared. Yeah, like, they immediately dissolved. <laughs> Oh, 
which I think would be a lot more horrifying. <laughs> Well, it might still be, you know? We might see that sucker later, which is why he should have cut off his head. Because he just should have. Alright, well, we're actually out of time for this episode. We didn't actually kill Mike, we just uh, killed some of his fingers. So, could have been worse. Honestly, he's not reacting as much as I thought. I mean, if it were me, I would have probably screamed and ran and gave up <laughs> on life. Anyway, yeah, interested to see what's gonna happen because some shit is gonna hit the fan very soon, obviously. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and leave in the comments below if you have faith in me that I'm gonna keep Mike alive because I don't really have faith in myself right now, so I kind of need your confidence. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.